Welcome back to New Day Northwest. You know, it is no secret there is a real need for blood donations all across the country right now. In fact, here in King County, they have been often operating on only a one to two day supply. That is very critical. Restaurant owner Jason Wilson and his wife Debbie know firsthand how crucial donated blood can be when lives are at stake. Thank you both for being here. Um, you are part of the Bloodworks Northwest campaign, Save Her Life, Save Life, which I think is super clever and cool. So let's talk first though about how desperate the situation is right now, a one to two day supply. Yeah, so just to lay the context, every two seconds, somebody in our region needs blood. Every two seconds. Two seconds. Yeah, so several people in just the course of this interview. Mm -hmm. And it takes 1,000 donors a day to keep our supply where it needs to be at a safe level. Okay. Now things like um, the, a heat wave or a snowstorm or whatever would normally have those numbers dip and then we would sort of recover and come back. Right. Well, here we're coming after a pandemic, a two year pandemic yeah. where everybody understandably went dark. So we're down 35%. We need to not only get up there, but maintain that level again. So it's a really, we're at critical levels. It's unsafe right now and we want to get out there and make a difference with that. All right. All right. So Jason, the restaurant industry really taking the lead in this save our life, save a life campaign. Tell us what it's all about. It's a coalition of restaurant professionals, chefs, hospitality professionals, um, all bringing together this message of, of getting the word out, getting the, the action, and really a call to action to our communities. So uh, my friend Ethan Stoll said it really well, restaurants just show up. And when Bloodworks Northwest talked to us and said, hey, we, we need to get the word out to people, restaurants are hubs of communities. So, so the coalition really gets, up, gets the word out, brings our, our team members, but also brings our, our community into the fold and into the mix in trying to raise that awareness and raise that participation level up to 10,000 new and engaged uh, donors again. So oh. it's, um, it's been exciting. We get to donate times with our, in our community. We get to donate blood. We get to be part of the action call. But then we also get to work together as you know, restaurant professionals and real passionate people. And are the customers involved as well? How are they, are, is it just the restaurant owners taking this charge? Um, the customers get to be involved as well. Um, you know, from dining with us and learning about it to some customers and donors actually winning. So we're donating dinners and interactive uh, experiences, wine, uh, food, the whole nine yards. So we also are kind of incentivizing the, the customers to be a part of the donation process too. That's amazing. I know you work in wellness, and so mm -hmm. how does this campaign fit into that? So I'm the wellness director at our restaurant, which is a program that we're doing. It's really an industry trend we're seeing to support the mental health and well-being of our staff. Yeah. Because restaurant workers, like so many people, cool. we saw that. Yeah, went into the mental health is first and foremost um, on everyone's mind, and that really applies also to work and, yeah. in our case, to to restaurants. Yeah. So, how it relates to blood donation is that we really encourage a sense of community and connection and um, giving, sort of yeah. stepping out of our bubble. So this is an opportunity for our staff to do something, to step up, to make a difference, and bond not just with themselves, but with our guests and the communities at large. I know that both of you have had a, a, a intimate experience with needing blood, uh, you with giving birth, but Jason, yeah. tell us your story. Um, gosh, 15, 16 years ago, I had a, I had a procedure where um, a hole in my heart was closed. So we did, um, we did two different attempts at it. The first one went kind of sideways. Um, we went through um, a catheter procedure. And actually, my tattoo here, this is the device that's now in my heart. So during that, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, and I see my cardiologist on a regular basis now as a guest of the restaurant. He said to me, you know, during that procedure, there was not only an operating room, a whole other team on staff, but the blood that you would need if we had to do open heart. Oh my gosh, so, so they needed to have it there. Yeah, and that's something that is, is happening. He did three procedures that day. So that's something that's happening on the constant. All the time. All the time. Debbie, 
us mamas give up so much anyway, <laughs> but would you mind sharing a little bit of your story? Yeah, you know, in my case, I think we're talking about you never know when you're going to need blood. Mm -hmm. So here I am going into, you know, have my baby, and it's a time when we're thinking about like car seats and mm -hmm. nurseries and whatnot, and my my delivery went south. It was a critical situation, and I lost a massive amount of blood, and Why? happily, you know, it was the, the medical, everybody was there and the blood yeah. supply was there and it wasn't even something, to be honest with you, that I thought about. I took for granted that of course blood would be there. Of course. You know? And I think that's that's the point of this. We, it's, you just don't know when you're gonna need it, but we, need we not, have to do something. We need to not take it for granted. Yeah. And people, we all need to be brave and give blood. I know. Like myself. You can do it. I am gonna do it. <laughs> you're gonna do it. And they have helped me and they say it doesn't take that. I've never given blood. I'm, a, I'm ashamed to say that I have never given blood before, but I am going to do it thanks to both of you cheering us on and for the need. We all need to do it together. So remember, the blood supply remains at the critical level right now. Please go to Bloodworks Northwest website you see on the screen and find an appointment sometime in the next few weeks. Don't be frustrated if you can't find an appointment tomorrow. Uh, Bloodworks will still need your blood in the next few weeks and months to come. So let's all go do it together. Lots more information on our website. Woo! All right, when we come back, evening's Angela Poe Russell is with us for a thoughtful conversation on how we honor and appreciate our mothers ahead of this holiday on Sunday. We'll be right back. This portion of New Day Northwest is sponsored by Bloodworks Northwest.